Let's get these packages down to USPS. Okay, we got a little snow coming down again on The Crazy Picker Life with Wheeler, Dealer, and Banana Peeler. Welcome, fellow pickers and would-be adventurers. Dealer here with the Thursday before the holiday, before Christmas, crazy picker life. Well, we do have snow coming down again. <laughs> it's coming down in the form of snow and then it's melting right away, turning into rain. So we'll see what happens there. Um, you know, I'm pretty tucked in for the holidays. We're not doing a lot of traveling this weekend or this week. I've got uh, my boys doing their paper out today and tomorrow, so I'm a little concerned about them as usual. We've got ice on the roads. People that are uh, traveling around not paying attention as much. And people, a lot of people, our town is one of these towns where Half the people leave for the holidays and half the people have lots of family in. So the holidays are funny around here because there's a lot of people that don't belong here and there's a whole bunch of people gone. So the town is really more or less a little crazy and, and shut down. So we still have snow on the ground there. You probably can't see the flakes. They're just floating around and some moisture. It's actually kind of nice. I don't mind a white Christmas. I don't mind a little snow if I don't have to completely deal with it. So I had five more uh, orders this morning and I didn't really get in until this afternoon. Uh, five more orders. I decided to pack those quick and get those out today. I didn't show them. There was some more camera stuff in there, just typical stuff. I did, uh, I did sell and get paid for the uh, pool sign. Turns out somebody from uh, Indiana had an advertising agency, liked it. I did a little research. They, they wanted me to not ship to their PayPal address. They wanted me to ship to their work address. And I don't like doing that, but if I can verify their work address, and if I can trip around a little bit and verify that they are from that work address and they have uh, you know, 50 or more feedback, typically I'll let it slide and I'll ship it out. So I got on their website and sure enough, he's a, he's a VP and it shows a picture of him playing pool. <laughs> so an advertising agency, he's a pool player. He bought the pool sign. He's gonna put that up in his own pool hall or the company's pool hall so that's that's kind of a cool repurposing for that sign I like that so later today I've got to get out and buy some two by twos get the saw out saw those up screw it together try to get that out tomorrow or Monday I'll show you how that works signs are pretty much a custom pack job for every kind of sign the the you know, the whole deal with signs is the floppier they are, the more careful you need to pack them. The bigger they are, the more careful you need to pack them. The more expensive they are, the more carefully you need to pack them. So there's a couple of factors to, to figure out with signs. Uh, I've shipped signs, over a thousand dollar signs. I've shipped signs, freight that are too big for UPS. I've shipped signs, big ones internationally, that's a trip. And then just, you know, a lot of signs that aren't too big of a deal to ship. Good money in signs, people want signs. You can't find deals on signs very often though. The really good signs you gotta pay up for or you just gotta be in the right place at the right time or you gotta buy a bunch of them at once or you buy them for yourself. That's been my uh, that's been my experience. Okay, heading down 
heading down to USPS. I'll have to decide if I'm going to pick up my my stuff at the hardware store today. I think I'm going to have to come back later. I'm running too late. Okay, heading home for, let's see, I got my spelling test done with uh, Benjamin, who's in fifth grade. I've reviewed their book reports. They've got to get a few things changed on those. I think, I think everybody's got a couple tests today and tomorrow yet. I've got a lot of paperwork left. I'm just going through the parking lot here so I can see my Jeep. I don't get to ride in it, I just get to see it. <laughs> By the way, on the road plan, oh man. I gotta find a way to keep the Jeep. Enough said. Don't want to say anything more on that right now. Uh oh. I got my. I gotta stop here and see what's going on. I got my phone going off. Okay. Well, I've got uh, Wheeler's computer showing up today, so I don't want to miss the adult signature on that. Got a lot of stuff going on this time of year. So anyway, we'll talk more about the trip Saturday or Sunday's show on the road trip it's coming together one piece at a time so uh, minor controversy in the wheeler dealer banana peeler house we got a package today that's causing some trouble it's an awful small little package it's kind of a weird weird deal and it it ties into uh, a number of controversies over the last few months if you've watched the vlog I don't know it might be interesting it might not but some people in the house don't like the package and they want me to send it back and some people in the house really like the package and they want to open it up and have fun with it so what are you supposed to do I send the package back I think I, I blew it I think there's a restocking fee I think it's big dollars can the package come along with us on the trip Man, everybody's out driving around all 5,000 people in my town <sighs> is it small enough to come on the trip it's small enough right now can't believe how small it is how small of a package what it's supposed to be I'm so curious I just want to open the package there were texts back and forth between my wife and myself I was just trying to fuel her out to see how she felt I don't want to I don't want to make her mad you ever watch Incredible Hulk you don't want to make me angry <laughs> oh you don't want to do that you don't want to make the Hulk angry my wife's not the Hulk, by the way, but she's a she's a she's a smaller lady. She's she's a small, sexy lady. But boy, if you make her mad, I think um, I think she packs quite a pound, quite a punch per pound. <laughs> uh, that's why I picked her. I I picked a picked somebody that could could handle themselves. I didn't want a wimp problem is you got to stay on the, the good side of uh, line you don't want to be on the hit list I'm sure she's watching I gotta I gotta watch out I gotta censor my speech <laughs> oh boy so I can't reveal any more about that I'm gonna have to think about it this afternoon and I gotta go for it I gotta I gotta see what's in the package it's like the cat's out of the bag. They delivered it. First of all, they couldn't even find our house. They had to call me. And then they found it, they brought it, and it was super, super tiny package. What? How can it be that small? It's funny. Okay, this is, uh, this is a weird vlog, isn't it? Oh, you never know what you're going to get. I gotta go do some homework. Wow, 
Wow, it's like my only free time is in this vehicle. <laughs> I don't just drive around all day. I just happen to have only my free time when I'm, when I'm driving around. Well, it's uh, 5.21 p.m. It's really kind of crappy out. It got uh, colder and uh, everything's icy and it's dark and there's like 15 mile an hour winds with faster gusts. Just not very pleasant. But besides the mystery box, oh, I have a uh, package delivery for Wheeler that he's going to be excited about and probably will have to do an unboxing on his channel and then he will probably have to set it up and play around with it for the next couple weeks and talk about it for a couple weeks so all that adds up that he's going to be super excited he um he had a mac something or other a few years back and i gave it to him early on in the business because he was doing well and i wanted him to have a nice computer and then he was using it for something video or whatever and he he fried out the hard drive and ended up getting rid of it and ever since then he's been trying to make computers and cheap charlie it and just limp along and you know i just sit back and let him let him learn a little bit and then five years later four years later i said well why don't you get something that that's going to do everything you need it to do and let's be done with it let's stop all the horsing around and having all the problems and all that and so here here it is hopefully <laughs> Somebody asked, uh, you know, do you like Windows? Do you like Mac? I was a long time Windows user. I set up, uh, you know, a Windows NT network for, for a grocery store type business, health food store type business, back office. Everybody was networked into it. Windows 3.1, floppy disks, Windows 95, all the way up, you know always had problems always had problems always had problems sure lots of software sure 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 it took me about six months to get used to apple about four years ago uh unless somebody gives me a really good reason i'll never switch back i don't really like the philosophy of either company and the ownership and all that crazy stuff but the products whatever Apple good I like it I use it I won't go back let's see if we can get Wheeler to take this out of the back I also well, I thought I was turning off the camera I was turning off my van I better turn my van back on it's not warm enough in here yet so I'm stopping by here to get Wheeler for supper and we need to get down to the hope it's still open a wood store hardware store I need to get some two by twos I'm gonna see if Wheeler has a couple of those first extra from his projects and then we're gonna go do that go eat hang around laze around and then come down here for a while special delivery special delivery do you have a sweatshirt yeah put it on it's yucky out there it's wet damp icy crappy dark yeah you have to act like your father, like you're five. Yeah. Come on, little Wheeler, put on your sweatshirt. It's only 30 and windy and crappy out. Yeah. All right, it's in the back. There's, I gotta go and bring it in. I don't know, unless you want me to keep it in there and freeze it. Whoa, each photo and video, crazy box, crazy throw up through the door. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Are you excited now? I knew it was coming. I know. Are you excited? Yep. I was telling people about the story about how you once had an Apple product and liked it and then killed it and didn't appreciate it. And then you went full circle. That's exactly it. Now you're going to be excited again. And full you... circle. I'm also kind of like, wow, I ended up with a Mac again. <laughs> Surprising. It's full circle. Yeah, it's full circle. 
All right, so we need to probably leave that for now. Yep, I'll be unboxing when I get back on video. Woo, I figured I mentioned that it might be po might be a possibility. Yeah. Wink, 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 wink. So let's, uh, let's talk about wood, and then we got to go home and come back. Yeah. Well, I got my snack. There goes Wheeler. Thinks it's summer. I guess he's going to go home and do his run before supper. Well, he tells me, tells me he's almost on four weeks straight. Hmm, that's pretty good, four weeks straight. So, more power to him. Um, as far as running goes, he's had ups and downs. And really what I had to do is help him grow up a little bit in a sense and just back off any pressure whatsoever, encourage him to do whatever he wants to do. And I just started running with the boys and helping them develop some discipline. And then lo and behold, we went on a race. He enjoyed the race. He decided to start running. Now he gets out by himself holds himself accountable. Kind of funny how that works. All right, I got to go to the wood store and get some wood. Hope it's open. Everybody's out getting presents and family in town and trying to get out of town and getting crazy. I'm going to go get some wood. Make make a mini crate. Well, that didn't work out. 5.30 they closed. Missed them by four minutes. <laughs> Forgot about that. Everybody was complaining about that a few months ago. They started closing at 5.30. I don't go in there often enough to pay attention. I'm not even worried about it. I just get to cruise around my town, my huge town here. See all the lights and chaos. Ooh, windshield wipers. Mm. So I guess I'll have to pick that up tomorrow morning when I come in and make my run to the post office. Get my crate done tomorrow. I didn't really want to work on that tonight anyway. So, what else were we talking about? Well, we got the mystery box tonight. We're going to do something with that. I'm not supposed to open it, but I'm going to have to open it. I mean, it's just cats out of the bag. You can't, you can't have a package show up and you can't open it. That doesn't work. I can't play that game. It's a reward too. We won it fair and square. <laughs> we hit our number fair and square. We finally got it. At least I think it's it. It's awful small. All right, well, I've bored you enough driving around with my ugly mug. I'm gonna go see if I can follow Wheeler around on his run that would be fun how can that little box be what I think it is gonna have to make some room over there and it's gonna be I guess like one of these rafts that you pull the cord and the thing goes whoomph. Okay, I got my organic energy drink. <laughs> We've been invited into Wheeler's office to check out his new computer. I doubt there'll be any place to sit in here though because the accordion is in my spot, the box is in my spot, the gimbal is in my spot. I was gonna say, my vlogging setup defers slightly from yours, but mine is like 4K and super high quality audio. 
Wow. Got my phone in there. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Stuck that together temporarily. Nah. There it is. So how is it? Pretty crazy. Yeah. Is it light? That's no, a lot smaller than mine. Yeah, it is supposed to be smaller. The bezels they, are reduced. And they everything. redesigned it. Look at this giant trackpad on there. Whoa, that's a bigger trackpad. If you type on the keyboard, I haven't tried yours, but I have a feeling it feels a lot different. That keyboard is really weird. Well, feel free to carefully try my keyboard. <laughs> yeah, that looks a lot different. How come the how come the window's so small on there? Window? Oh, create a computer account. Yep, I haven't set it up yet. I see. Like I say with MacBooks, you know, you it's just open them. It's a different thing. color. Space gray. And there's no more Apple light on the back either. Mm. Another thing they got rid of. Much thinner. Yep. It's supposed to be. There's the two ports and then there's That's two it, more. Huh? That's it. Wow. <laughs> you don't even get a you gonna get a magic mouse? Nope. Didn't come with anything except for the power brick and the goober cable so, and I mean, are, are you gonna get one or are you gonna use a trackpad? Use my trackball. Track oh, trackpad slash yeah. trackball. Trackballs, that's right. He likes those trackballs. Either way. All right, so I can tell you're excited. Yeah. Now, was, now what? Say, man, the babies are going to have a heyday with these bubbles if I let them. Oh, you call them the babies. They're five and six. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. Probably as they pop, if you pop more on, they pop the whole row. Those are really pretty crazy. Well, they'll be, in, uh, <laughs> they'll be in on Saturday. Yeah. Packer game on Saturday, I think, at noon. A fancy apple box here, too. Wow. The funny thing is this is non-removable, this bottom piece. Everybody in their views tries to remove it and then are like, whoa, it's not removable. Figure it out. Well, you've joined the pro crowd now. Isn't that thing called pro? It's called the pro. I just watched uh, Linus Tech Tips review of it from a PC users thing. And he's saying, well, they call it the pro, but what they mean by that is a little bit of updated thing. And it kind of gives you the feeling of being pro. No pro, no serious creative content pro guy would be. Really? Would be caught dead with but that thing? Not only, no, he didn't say that. He said that Man. there are like what really is a creative content professional. Hmm. I'm guessing he's that other one. So know. only creative content professionals can use that? I run my That's what they say usually. So I run my business. I run my uh I run my business on that. Yep. Doesn't quite fit the thing of professional, but it's pretty good. I mean, take a look at this. You're telling me that I don't look like a professional? <laughs> <laughs> But right. also, you know, they tricked oh, me here. There's more. I was pretty sure I had to cut the tape, but it's a pull tab. It's like really fancy, man. It's oh, yes. Put you all up to get to the reveal. The, de the details, the what reveal. Okay, I, I've had enough. Had enough. Yep. Too much butter. Well done. I gotta get on with my, my personal unboxing coming up. Let me locate a knife here. I'm up to it almost now. Well, like I said, I better I better move some stuff out of the way. This thing might just explode out of here. Who knows? Well, this might be kind of lame. There. Let me, get, let me give you a picture of me sitting in my new my new super chair here. <coughs> it's it's big enough for four people. Oh, there we go. I'm in it. It's great. Wow, look at that. I'm totally encompassed by it. Oh, it's it's so comfortable. It's as comfortable as the ones they had in the store. Look at that. You can hardly see any carpet around me. It's amazing. It is amazing. <laughs> Unbelievable how comfortable I am. I don't think I'll ever get up. Okay. There's definitely either something wrong or something missing here. This might just be the the outer skin. Where the heck is the foam? Well, it says love sack. Where's the where's the stuff? Where's the stuff? How could they not send me the whole deal? Is it still in there? Maybe it's under the flap. You ever get something that you think, well, it slid under the flap. Oh, there's no flap. Oh, man. Well, they said it would start out a little bit flat, and then over time it would puff up. What do you think? Yeah. It's, it's like one of those Ikea things, or mattresses, they roll up in these tight rolls. And well, yeah, and it just up. takes, you just got to, you got to roll in it, and it just starts to, oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, it's like a cloud so flat and like a cloud. Oh. 
What do you think about the pattern? It's a little white. It's going to get dirty. Oh, yeah. I'm ready to take a nap. It's a good thing I had that energy drink. I don't need a nap. Well, I guess the illusion is over. I'll be watching it all night to see if it puffs up, but if there's any foam in there, it's pretty awesome because it's super thin. Hmm. I guess we're going to have to wait and see what happened to the foam. Hope it comes tomorrow. Maybe I can track it. All right, I knew I was going to be in trouble this whole night because... It's 500 nits of color and brightness will melt your face right off. Yeah, so look, so he's, he's saying there. that his track pad... Hey, your puny little one over there. It's oh, bigger man. than my track pad. You got like this thick computer. Here's I the got trick. Thin one. I don't even use my track pad. Oh, yeah, that's the thing. You can use it over here, you can use it over here, you can use it there. It's going everywhere. Wow, Woo! so What's did you touch? try my keys or my, no, or my real it. keys? Oh man, that's totally different. You should try these. I already did. They, I don't you like did. them. It's all. It's like my phone. It's like, <laughs> it's a fake feel. It's a fake. It's so clicky. It's a fake key. This is, oh, that's not my password. <laughs> yeah, Heck. it's pretty funny. And also the fake click. I think probably has a real click. This one does not have a real click. All right. It feels like a click, but it's fake. The downside of new technology for Wheeler is Ooh, I have touch to. Touch bar everywhere. Woo. I have to hear about the specs for the next. This touch bar up here. Like Nine weeks. Oh. <laughs> All right, there it is. It's still flat. It's looking good though. Looking kind of like a cow. I think that's sort of what attracted me to the skin of that thing. All right, I ha you know, for those of you that haven't watched the show, that is supposed to be a ginormous. Love sack beanbag chair. However, obviously something's missing here. I'm gonna quick get on the hotline, the foam hotline. Meanwhile, I think I have three orders, including that uh, Sega, whatever this Sega Saturn sold for four, thing sold for forty plus shipping right away. I priced that right at the edge. I thought that might go. I'm going to start listing all the rest of this stuff here. Boy, I'm getting down there. I got a shot at it today and tomorrow. I got a shot. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Today is work on my business. What the heck was I thinking? What was I thinking? I don't have to list or pack today. I'm supposed to work on my business. Uh-oh, time to retool it. Man, I gotta show this. This is really cool here. Wheeler cleaning. Super clean. Whoa, dude. He's doing a he's doing a reinstall of his office. Probably it's taking me five minutes. I'm going at quite a quick pace right now. So I told you you were excited. This table, <laughs> this table's from the eighties. This rolling table is super solid, super awesome. Rolling table, super cool. That's coming with us on the trip. That's one of the only things from this from this uh, whole setup here that's coming with us. That's a family heirloom. This keyboard is like six years old and it is full of stuff. Yeah. I've been like, cleaned it a couple times and this thing is it's like, stuff. It's like talking to your it's like talking to yourself around here. Okay, so I know I'm supposed to be working on the business, but I can't I don't know what, what's come over me, but I've gotta pack that up. I've already packed two camera orders up. I promise I'll work on my business. After I get these packed up, I just, for whatever reason, I feel like packing. Okay, getting serious now. Some things got to either be thrown away or cleaned up. Uh, this is the rare Schlitz lunchbox. Look how clean it came on that side. I just cleaned one side. It looked like that. Now it looks like that. I'm going to see if I can clean this thing up. Otherwise, I've got to throw it away. That is, uh, has some liner in it for keeping things cool. Got your carry strap. Man, I think that ought to come along with me on the trip. Let me clean it up. Well, I scrubbed it all off and we'll see how uh, we'll see how that dries out. It went from being pretty bad to still having some staining on it and such, but uh, 
it's virtually usable. I could see uh, I could see using that on the trip. Whoa, Galaga, Galaga three, Galaga two, Galaxine, Galaga, Galaga two. Uh yeah, that was worthwhile. Let me uh, let me consult my taskmaster here. Taskmaster, what should I do next? Wow. You could, uh, I'm pointing over there. Whoops, I'm losing my pointer. I'm pointing over there. Oh, you're pointing at this old enamel light. Yeah, we got to get that pole off. That's next. Okay, thanks, Taskmaster. No, thanks, Taskmaster. Taskmaster. You bet, I'll just uh, keep watch on your other stuff here. So I've consolidated my other stuff. This will be for listing tomorrow. Along with that, if I can get the pole off and we'll have it all there. I've got this old terribly looking awful hams. I rescued it along with this terrible looking Schlitz one. I'm gonna have to take a look. I think I have a bunch of other ones. I should just lot them up all together and Get them out of here. We'll see how that goes. So te technically, uh, taking that bar off the lamp, that's not listing or packing. That's working on my business, right? That's not working in my business. I would never do that. Yep, I'm still working in my business. Dang it. Okay, well, the right tools make the difference, which reminds me, when I go on my trip, I'm going to have to make a... Toolkit plan. Gonna have to have some tools with me, man. I'll tell you what. I gotta travel light. I'm gonna have to have like uh, aluminum tools, <laughs> aluminum. What do you call it? Aluminum magnets. So, pipe wrench, pipe wrench. No match for the pipe wrench. So that came off there pretty easy. I left the wiring in case they want to use it. It's really in pretty good shape. The wiring and all the connection down to the thing. This is a really cool swivel articulating piece on top of here. The worst part about this whole thing is the enamel on the actual light is crap. It used to look like this. I don't think that's just dirt. I think that enamel is gone. So the swivel piece is going to make it worth some bucks and there's going to be some bucks lost there, but it will go pretty good. We'll try to lift that up tomorrow. Okay, that's starting to look pretty good. That little corner, I probably should take finally take care of this telescope in the box. And there's some lenses underneath those films. I think there's some more to that somewhere too. I think there's another box I need to find on that camera stuff. I don't know if I'll do that yet. But once I get this all cleared off, I can take another big load from the back and load this, heap this thing up and have it stare at me again for a while and that's what I need to do okay let's get real let's get real 8 26 p.m. plenty of time left I'm gonna sit down look at next year's plan chuck some things out the window add some things I started working on my business one day a week like three or four weeks ago and look what happened I chucked my whole business plan <laughs> Uh, and, and now my business plan is how to downsize, move to my house, then move out of the state, then move around with my whole family. Oh my goodness. Sounds awesome, but I think, uh, I think my priorities have changed slightly. Still, uh, with the business, with my family, my family is number one, but with the business, direction has changed slightly. Okay, so one of the things that I had uh, done at the beginning of my, my transition to working on the business is I came up with a next 12-month plan, and it had been some things that had been brewing in my head for quite a while. And, uh, you know, recently, I guess when you shake some of those things out of your head, the real desires and the real direction comes out, which is what happened. So... I've got my highlighter and I've got my red and I'm going to start up here next 12 month plan well 
new building is on hold. That's coming off. Work with Lon, my wife. Streamlined legal bookkeeping, taxes, packing, and inventory. These are some of the things that I want her to transition to. And although that will not be happening in full in the next 12 months, uh, when we go on the road in approximately a year and a half, I will be working full-time and living full-time with my wife. And that is part of the plan. So that's still good. Build beer sign business. Ooh, that one hurts a little bit. It's all right. It's just stuff. In fact, some people will delight and some people will cry. I'm gonna have to sell all my beer signs, or at least most of them, and maybe store a few. Doesn't mean I still won't buy and sell them. It's just uh, harder to do that on the road. I'll certainly pick up the ones that are cheap. Miscellaneous inventory to kids to list. Well. My plan this next summer uh, was to get my kids more involved. Uh, Kate has expressed interest in wanting to work for me. And Banana Peeler uh, does work for me. Uh, Benjamin will be 11. He'll probably start doing some more stuff for me too. All the miscellaneous stuff that we pick up, I was going to start training the kids on to list. And I was going to head to the beer sign business. That is still uh, happening. They're going to still be a part of the business when we're on the road and be helping out with a lot of the day-to-day -day things as well as their homework, as well as we'll be doing some fun things and they can get involved with some of their own things wherever we're at as well. Picker Portal. Well, that one is not gone, but let's just say that's on hold. And that was something that we brainstormed in an entrepreneurial class that we had uh, talked about and I think it's a good idea getting um, inventory together, excess inventory, putting it up on a on a wholesale uh, website of sorts that's just for pickers and swap inventory but we are probably not going to be the ones to deal with that right now. We're going to have too much going on. Now it's not to say that we couldn't transition into something like that when we're on the road and we could uh, run something like that that obviously would not take up space in our travels uh, and it could be something we could do so I'm not necessarily against doing something online uh, more than we already do with YouTube I'm just gonna put that on hold for right now so I'm gonna add some things in a minute to this top and I'll come back with that uh, dollars by due. So I, I sort of made a dollar list of things that are big purchases, big plans for the next 12 months just to focus on what, uh, what some of our money is going to go for and then not spend money on other things. So Honda for Lon, she is getting a new car. And the way it looks, we're going to get an eight-passenger Honda. For Lon, she can use that, and then when we go on the road, that will be uh, that will be one of the vehicles we go on the road with, a Honda Honda Pilot. Six-week vacation plan. Well, we might be on vacation all the time. That might be a trial uh, next year in 2017. We're planning to do that in the fall. That is still uh, that's a question mark. That's a possibility. New van, that does not look like it's going to happen. The two vehicles will be revealed down the road for sure, but the current thinking is Honda, 8-passenger, and Jeep. How could I get rid of my Jeep? New building, on hold. New washing machine. Well, we're going to have washing machines where we go. We're going to try to milk this one along that we have. I might have to do some more work on it. I might have to get a used washing machine, but certainly not going to buy a new washing machine if we're going to be on the road in 18 months. Living room furniture. Well, it was ordered and the guy drug his feet and didn't contact my wife back. She called and canceled the order. He wasn't happy. It was on the truck. Too bad. Canceled. So eventually my uh, nicer leather furniture here in my office will be going home. The crappy furniture we have in our living room will be going uh, out. 
and uh, then when we go on the road we'll have to sell my furniture here that will be at home and we will be living on somebody else's furniture Jeep stuff well that is still in play the Jeep will be outfitted as a picker vehicle when I'm in the sticks when I'm out and about when I'm scouting that will be it when I'm in uh, the city and in places where I don't want to be high profile with a bright colored Jeep it will not be the picker vehicle but that thing will have a uh, roof rack and a few other things to make it a better picker vehicle and it will also be road worthy so how can I not take a Jeep like that along on my adventure uh, let's see okay so Oh, foggy. That was a lot of work, wasn't it? I didn't even use my highlighter. I just used uh, the red. <laughs> well, how about I retool this plan a little bit for the next however long it takes, and then I'll just uh, I'll share it for a minute retooled, right? Many of, you, many of you think, wow, dealer, you just revealed your 12-month plan not so long ago. And that seemed to come right out of the blue, and it was like, wow, that's a good plan. And now you shelved most of it, now you're going a different direction. Well, like I said, um, I just started scraping the brain a little bit, waking up the brain to the possibilities, where we're at, where we're going, what we want to do. And I think the first shot of the 12-month plan was a good one. However... It needed to uh, shake and rattle out for about a month, and now we got a different one. I don't want to be knee-jerking around with all these different plans, but I'll tell you what, we're going to get a plan that works. And until we do, we're going to keep working the plan we have. There you go. Back with the uh, new and improved plan in a moment. All right, so this is going to require some extra food. This is a DiGiorno Rising Crust. Hawaiian style Canadian bacon and pineapple pizza 100% real cheese, no artificial flavors, preservative free crust. It's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. You bet it looks frozen now. Wait till it's cooked. Mmm. And where there's pizza, there could be beer. So this is a DuPont 3. One, two, three. I can't read anything else on there, but let's see. I forget where that's from. Belgium. And it's got this crazy corkish apparatus. I'm going to see if I can work that over. Okay, I'll be there in a moment. Well, I wasn't expecting that. I guess that's the deal with a 216. That's the deal with the cork. I wasn't really expecting a a pop. I would have tried to do it with one hand here, but there was a pop, and now it smells like beer. And this is my new favorite salt glass glass, old old glass. This one's not quite as thick as that last one. It's sud the suds are not completely white, but they're not crazy brown like that double vision stuff. I don't think that's going to go back in there. Let me just set it back on there and put it in the fridge. And then I'm going to go see what's up with Wheeler. Now this came from my rare beer club, which by the way, I did cancel. Um, I like the taste of the rare beers. They're just too heavy. They're like 9, 10, 12% alcohol. They're good. They're just too much. I would rather drink a few more and have them lighter. I like all the 5% uh, and under world beers that they send me, so I've continued with that once a month. Um, this is a heavy thinking day, so we're going we're gonna to go for it. Let's go see. Oh, that's awful light. I don't think I got very much in there. Too much foam. Let me fix that. It's, it's like feels just like the glass. I did a bad job of pouring. Too concerned about the camera work. Okay, the other good news, just love sharing good news, is I did do my sit-ups and my crunches, my side crunches. So, you know, this is not all pizza. 
and beer going right to the waistline. This is this is going right above the shoulders, and that's you know that's where we need it to be. So, Dupont. Mm. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna. I think it's just like a regular beer. You know that that Dupont name is some sort of uh, cars, pe cars peasant from Belgium. I think. I see. Yeah, the du Dupont chemical name oh, is yeah. like a bazillion dollars but this this particular beer was made by some peasants in Belgium so it's not the same line oh my goodness what have you created up there crazy setup so I'm either gonna need to move my photo tent or move some stuff around but this is a cool looking setup here well looking is one thing and it does look cool what what is the uh, What's the usability? Should be fully usable except for the photo tank. So I either need to move that or I need to rearrange a little bit. Pretty sure if I bring my laptop lower, it'll be fine. So threw that out. Yeah. All right. I'm going to, unless you have something to, to say like profound, I'm going to turn the camera off, have a little swig of this, and then we'll chat about it. Well, for the full office tour, you can go check my channel. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Let's, uh, yeah. Plug it up. Let's check Wheeler's channel. Where do we find that in the about of this video and the about of the channel, right? Yep, on the main page of the channel, it should be to the right in a little box there. No, I took that down because that went to that Canon guy. Mm, so you have to change it. Well, I'm not going to put it there. I see. But I'll it's see it's in the about. Yeah, it's in the about. It's a link in the about. Check out the about link. Okay, so I got out of there. Uh, Wheeler's having a lot of fun with that stuff, but I've got some stuff I need to do here. Um, I am working on this revisal of the plan. I'll share that in a few minutes. Something reminded me though, I bought a skin, a nice green frog, bright, light green cover skin for my phone from a company called Slick Wraps. And Slick Wraps is out of Wichita, which is on kitty corner of my uh, my neck of the woods. Buy one, get one free. No code needed. BOGO sale. Limited time. So I'll, I'll show you this website here. I just had a battery change. Alright, so BOGO sale. It's this slick wraps. You go in there. I mean, this is this is a nice site. They got all these different things. Look it up, run it through. They'll take your money. They gave me half price. I wasn't even asking for it. I'm like, great, looks professional. I ordered this thing on December 2nd. It is now the 20, 22nd, no skin. So I look into it yesterday and the website has virtually no way to contact them so they don't send me an email all they do I thank goodness I use my PayPal I didn't give them a credit card uh, you know I got a PayPal receipt they charge me the right amount then um, some sort of PayPal ID number I don't even think it's a real ID number I go on the site they want information so I can track it right you can be part of their online club, but I didn't register. So I try to track it, can't track it. You search for any other way to contact them. You can contact them through their contact form. And the contact form is bogus. At least it is now. I don't know. You put in your message, you put in a little information, you put in your email, then you click the button to go and it doesn't go because below that it says are you a robot and you check something for no once you check it there's no more button to enter it it isn't entered end of story <laughs> can't contact them no phone number just retarded right so you go online and there are better business bureau reports against them there's some other information against them most people aren't going to do anything for 12 or 15 or 20 bucks. Maybe they even send the things out. I don't know. But uh, mine did not come to me and I cannot contact this company. So they, they are a bunch of blankety blank sticks with an F. 
They're on dealer's bad list. When I get to Wichita, I'm going to that address. I'm going to look them up. I'm going to knock on their door. I'm going to say, Big Bad Wolf is here. Going to blow your house down. Open up. <laughs> Anyhow, I've run into a few places online that are just either so bad at customer service and fulfillment and or are scams on the front end they're just awesome and on the back end jeepers so have you run into slick wraps i would not recommend ordering from them i'm going to go onto my paypal and i'm going to see if i can uh open a case and deny this money because that's just ridiculous and then i'm going to order myself a new wrap from somebody reputable i better do a little research to see what's reputable Okay, that is dealer sob story of the day. Let me uh, let me do that, and I'm gonna come back. I'm just about done with uh, with my new general plan. I'm gonna talk more about specifics on Saturday and Sunday show, and maybe another topic. But I'll show you some of the general uh, the general revised plan, and that's sort of what I use as a guiding tool for some of my time on my day when I work on the business. When I work on the business, my first thing to do is to go through that guiding list for the next 12 months and make sure I'm doing everything I need to do to get those things done. And then I'll do some other firefighting and smaller things for working on my business. But the main thing's gotta be the main thing. I am having a hard time connecting with my business tonight. <laughs> <sighs> Two more orders in. I haven't packed them yet. I don't think I will. Let me get this up there. I'm getting a little, uh, a little grandpa chill, you know. So I'll pack those tomorrow. Obviously, tomorrow is a, is a real day. This is just brain day. Let's um, let's look at my new 12 month plan, shall we? Okay. Now the new 12 month plan, now keep in mind when I lay out something like this, this is always what I would call a rolling document, okay? When I redo it like this, maybe once a month, maybe once every couple months, maybe once every six months, when I redo my 12 month plan like this, it's an updated document. So some people will say, oh man, Dealer, you changed your mind. Oh, oh my goodness, you ch you changed direction. Well, here's the deal. I don't answer to a boss. I can change my mind whenever I want. I can change direction whenever I want. I may be old, but I am nimble. Ha! <laughs> ah! By the way, my my wife, <laughs> my wife says, that's the fakest laugh I've ever heard. You don't ever laugh like that unless you're on camera. <laughs> oh my goodness, you know? <laughs> oh, that one hurt. That was a real one. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> so anyway, hey, I can change direction. It's no big deal, you know? I run the company. The company is like balanced on a pinhead. I can go any direction, any minute. Tomorrow I could go picking. The next day I could sell it all. The next day I could go picking again. The next day I can move to Australia. Who cares? I mean, I only have six kids and a wife. Well, you know, that's not that big a deal to get moving in the right direction. Woo! Okay. Let's get let's get real here. Let's get a little bit real. The next 12 months, I've I've revised this. Going on the road trial transition plan. So, we're planning to go on the road in 18 months. At some point, I'm going to need to put up a counter type calendar type situation, maybe a a computer with a monitor that counts down. That would be better, right? I'll have to try to remember that. Maybe somebody can remind me in a few weeks when I 
come out of my holiday uh, stupor. Trial transition plan. We are going to trial this thing. We are working on it. Work in progress. Number two, bullet point, work with Lon, my wife. We're going to continue, even though she's working a full-time job, we're going to continue to streamline legal bookkeeping, taxes, and I added payroll because we are going to put uh, Wheeler and some of my other kids and possibly myself on payroll and possibly Lon on payroll um, some of the things that we're figuring out with our taxes, etc. I'm not going to get into it. If you want to do taxes, consult a tax professional. Anyway, we're going to continue to streamline that. That's important. We don't want any uh, cumbersome bookkeeping, right? Downsize office and inventory. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, you guys are under the gun. Everything's under the gun. Under the gun. It continues that way. Flats, man, you're sticking with me. No doubt about it. You're my security, Blatz man. Wait, what do you mean I'm your security? I need something more than this mug of beer. I need, uh, I don't know, something in my other hand there. Something like uh, maybe a machete or, or maybe a pretzel. Okay, Blatz man, I'll work on that. You know, I do have some free time and, uh, and I do have a day I work on my business. Okay, dealer, I'll stick with you forever and ever. Oh, my goodness. This is really insane. Uh-oh, focusing problem. I need a new camera. I should have added that. <clears throat> Wheeler says if I get... <laughs> Wheeler Oh, my goodness. Wheeler says if I get a new camera, I have to learn how to manual focus it. That ain't going to happen. When I go to manual focus days, I'm going to have to have a camera and a camera person. There's no way um, I can deal with manual focus. So they better up the technology or I'll have to stick with this one. Okay, back to it. Downsize office and inventory. Train kids to list. Like I mentioned, uh, Banana Peeler needs to expand. If he wants to keep listing my items, he will. Kate has expressed interest. She's 15 going on 16. She'd like to get more involved. AKA, she wants to earn some of her own money. More than she does. She does some things around the house. Uh, Banana Peeler, we talked about him. And Squealer, which is Benjamin. Uh, he wants to get integrated a little bit, so I think he'll be taking over some of the tasks that Banana Peeler is doing, like box breaking down, garbage, vacuuming, vacuuming the van, taking out uh, individual garbages, all that stuff. Downsize personal belongings. Well, we've been here 10 years, and between having two more children and kids growing from younger to older... And just uh, being a picker, there's a lot of stuff. So the attic of the garage needs to go, as well as some other stuff. Uh, plan for 100% debt-free before on the road. Okay, so we are virtually... Oh, come on. Autofocus. We are virtually debt-free in the business and personal life, except for vehicles and... The house and that feels great that was not how it always was okay um, we have a few remaining little teeny rolling things that are like zero percent interest and I just run some things through there for points and I'm gonna take care of those over the next couple of months we will be I want to go on the road. I, I do want to sell the house and have decent vehicles without like problems every few months, mechanical problems. We'll have uh, some other things we bring with us that are good. I want to go on the road debt-free 
and building savings. So we are going to go on the road. We're going to make enough money to live on the road. We're going to be debt free and we're going to be building savings. That is, and I am leaning here. Some people say, oh, dealer, you're like you're falling asleep. <laughs> I, I don't do that on purpose. I just don't care. Okay. <laughs> Stock jockey, it's you, man. You're watching me. I think that's how you pronounce it. Stock jockey. You'll, you'll let me know, right? <sighs> that's a shout out, man. So, um, that is a position of strength. When you have a financial position of strength, you are not making decisions based on scarcity. You're making decisions based on living. And that is how we're going to approach this with the kids. I do not want to get up on a Wednesday and have to work. If I get up on a Wednesday and I am somewhere where it is beautiful weather and my kids say, hey, let's blow this day off and let's go do, let's go do XYZ that we've been talking about. I'm going to say, all right, I got to pack a few orders early. You got your homework done? Okay, let's get that done. At noon, we leave and then we go. I'm not going to be crazy, Dad, but we are going to do what we're going to do. You know what I'm saying? Debt free. The American dream. Make America great again. We're going. <laughs> So, I'm a realist too, okay? We'll do what we have to do. We're doing the best we can. That's the plan. Uh, there it is. Okay, buy, do. Honda Pilot, that's happening in January. Six-week trial vacation plan, that is happening in 2017. I'm hoping we can get Lon to join us. She just... Loves her job. I got to prove to her a couple of things like, hey, we can make money on the road. Hey, she can contribute and like it. Hey, we're buddies. We can work together. Hey, we can do other stuff that's just as fun as whatever you're doing be later. All that stuff. That's the trial. And then the bottom one is important. Let me, let me get a little zoom on that. This is a manual zoom update jeep for picking and that's really important right there adventure you know for a couple of days i thought oh i'll get a new van i have to have super van and then i thought are you kidding me in 1999 i bought a jeep wrangler and that same year wheeler was born and i have a picture in fact Ah, let's go show that. That's a really cool picture. Um, his sister was born soon after, and soon after we decided that was not our main family vehicle, and I had to sell it. Fifteen years later, I got another Jeep. I'm showing him the picture here. Look at those two dudes. Wow, that is Wheeler and Dealer. <laughs> Early Wheeler and Dealer. Early Wheeler and Dealer. We weren't even picking that. Vintage Wheeler and Dealer. Vintage. <laughs> yeah, that's back. That is back probably. Yeah, that probably. Let's see. That pro Wheeler was born in 99. That was probably the year 2000. Jeep didn't last long. Very small two doors. They didn't make four day they didn't make four door Wranglers back then. <laughs> There's no way I'm giving that thing up. That's coming along. Two vehicles, one of them is going to be that. For good, for better, or for worse. Okay, I'm going to look around my office. I don't even know what time it is. Oh, yeah, it's still early. 10.32, let me find out what else I'm going to do to work on my business. So, that's the revised plan. That is not a detailed plan. That is not a comprehensive plan. Those are some of the highlights. And every month, I'm going to try to revise that a little bit. Obviously, this last revision was a big one. But that's it, man. And woman, trying to be 
trying to be equal. When I say that's it, man, I mean everybody. I understand we're in a different world. That's it. Crazy adventurers and would-be pickers. <laughs> uh, I think this, um, this DuPont has made me festive. I'm tempted to go jump into my, uh, my beanbag chair, but it reminds me I need to, uh, I need to find out what happened to the rest of it. So the question is, can the love sack, the king size four por four portion, four person beanbag come with us? The answer is, it's not on the list, but I know you've all been asking already. The answer is, yes. Okay, well, that about wraps it up. Oh, I'm in the dark. There I am. <laughs> so what I did is I added a watermark to my videos. I'm always trying to figure out what to do with this YouTube channel just to advance it an inch at a time, you know? And, and really, it's, it's about a couple of things. One, I want to make the experience of our picking adventure more real I mean that's it and then secondly I mean there's a lot of little things that you have to do to keep up with the whole YouTube scene I want to make it integrate with whatever's out there that's that's it so in order for us to make this YouTube experience viable it has to be a win-win right so that is it that's working on my business um, I'm gonna get this uploaded take care of a couple details, relax a little bit. Wheeler is all happy with his computer. That's all integrated. Tomorrow, Friday, is a mostly listing day, I'm hoping. Packing a little listing mostly. And then I need to figure out how to wrap it up because I'm not working Saturday and I'm not working Sunday. So there'll be a little cap on some things you, you know you won't see anything but I'm gonna put a little closure on it for the weekend I'll be back in uh, Monday not super early Lon has off on Monday so it'll just be get up regular and do my thing but Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. I see all the comments. I did get a chance to answer some of those. If there's ever a comment that comes across, I don't answer it fully. You know, reply in a new comment. That's the best way. If you reply on the old comment, I see it come in, but then when I go look for it, I don't see it because it's back a number of videos. So if you do really want to reply or you have something additional, just put it on a new video, just put it on a new comment. Then it comes through as a new comment on my stream. I don't mean to uh, miss anything. Sometimes I do. Only human, half bionic. <laughs> Anybody watch a bionic man, bionic woman back in the day? When the heck was that? Late 70s? 1980 probably late 70s my craziest favorite nightmarish episode was bionic man and bigfoot i think they called him sasquatch oh my goodness what a cliffhanger it was like a two-part series i might have been watching on black and white i don't know but i think somewhere in there they went down this hallway and it wasn't really a hallway, it was circular. And oh my goodness, it had this thing and you went in there and zzz, I don't know, I'm having some sort of a late 70s flashback. Bionic Man, boy, that was something. <laughs> appreciate the thumbs up, appreciate the support. New vlog tomorrow, pick well. List often. I might go picking tomorrow. I got a spot. I got some belt buckles to pick up for a banana peeler, hopefully. Thanks for watching. Dealer out. Hey, Wheeler. Dealer Production.